In this video, I'll walk you through the process of using Key Manager Plus for your SSL certificate lifecycle management. You'll see how to centrally acquire, consolidate, deploy, renew, track, and manage all SSL certificates across your network from a single interface. What you're seeing on the screen now is the login page for Key Manager Plus. From here, enter your login credentials to get started. The first step in managing certificates is to discover all SSL certificates across your network and import them into Key Manager Plus's certificate repository. Start by switching to the Discovery tab on the Actions pane and click SSL to discover your certificates. Provide the host name the certificates will be discovered from and specify the port number. By default, port 443 is used for SSL discovery, but you can also specify multiple ports by separating them with commas. You can also perform bulk discovery by specifying a range of resources or by importing a file containing a list of resources. After providing details about your resources, click Discover. You'll be directed to a window which displays the discovery status and the certificates that were imported into Key Manager Plus's repository. Now, switch to the SSL tab in the Actions pane. This window here is Key Manager Plus's certificate repository. All certificates from discovered resources are imported here. Click on any certificate to view more information. Key Manager Plus also provides the option to discover and import certificates mapped to user accounts in Active Directory, as well as certificates from the Microsoft Certificate Store. Switch to the AD User Certificate tab to begin importing Active Directory user certificates. Specify the domain name, domain controller details, username, and password. Select which user group needs to be imported and click Import. The SSL certificates from all the selected user groups are now imported into Key Manager Plus's certificate repository. If you navigate to the SSL tab, you can see that the imported certificates are listed there. Similarly, you can import SSL certificates from the Microsoft Certificate Store. Navigate to Discovery and click MS Certificate Store to get started. Select the MS Certificate Store option from the drop-down menu to import all the certificates present there. Select Local Certificate Authority from the drop-down menu to only import certificates issued by your internal Windows Certificate Authority. Provide the server details and user credentials and choose which stores you wish to import from, then click Discover. This will import the certificates, which you can find listed in the certificate repository. You can also manually add certificates from your system. Select the SSL tab and click Add. Browse your system and upload the required certificate file. You can also add certificates based on content and key store. After uploading a certificate, click Add and the certificate will be added to the certificate repository. You can also use Key Manager Plus to create and use self-signed certificates for internal purposes. Switch to the Certificates tab and click Create. This will open the Create Certificate window. Here you'll enter the common name, organization details, certificate signing algorithm, length, key store type, and password. You should also specify the validity in days. Click Create, then Save to add the certificate to the centralized certificate repository. Once saved, certificates can be deployed to the necessary end servers, then tracked and monitored for usage and expiration. Now, let's see how to deploy a certificate to an endpoint server from Key Manager Plus. Select the required certificate and click Deploy on the top menu. In the Certificate Deployment window that opens, provide the server details, username, password, certificate path, and certificate file name. You can also deploy the certificate onto multiple servers by uploading a file containing the server names as comma-separated values. After filling in the details, click Deploy.
the certificate is now deployed onto the specified servers in the specified path. In addition, you can also request and obtain SSL certificates from trusted third-party certificate authorities for public-facing websites. Key Manager Plus helps you generate certificate signing requests and forwards them to third-party certificate authorities with the hassle-free certificate request workflow. Click Create under the Create CSR tab to generate a certificate signing request. Provide the required details in the Create CSR form that opens. You can also generate a CSR from an already existing private key by uploading the key file and the key store password. Click Create to generate the CSR. Then that CSR will now be listed under the Create CSR tab. Now that you've generated the CSR, you can forward it to a trusted third-party certificate authority to obtain an SSL certificate for the requested domain. Switch to the Certificate Request tab and click Add Request. Choose the request type as New Certificate, enable the Import CSR option, choose the appropriate domain from the drop-down menu, and enter the email address of the intermediary who will handle the certificate request and take it forward to the trusted certificate authority. Click Add Request. You can see that the certificate request is initially listed as open. To close the request, click on it, attach the obtained certificate, and click Save and Close. The request is then closed and the attached certificate is added to Key Manager Plus's certificate repository. From here, you can deploy the certificate to the necessary end servers using the same steps previously demonstrated. You also have the option to directly acquire domain validated certificates for your public facing domains from Let's Encrypt. Key Manager Plus's integration with this renowned Open Certificate Authority helps you procure and deploy domain validated certificates to the respective domain servers in just a few steps, all directly from Key Manager Plus. You can find an elaborate step by step walkthrough video of this workflow on our website. Now let's talk about post deployment vetting. Once SSL certificates are deployed to end servers, you should carefully examine them for configuration vulnerabilities. Without a proper scan, there's a chance that your certificates may contain SSL vulnerabilities such as Heartbleed or Poodle, which can leave your website open to man in the middle attacks. Key Manager Plus helps you scan and identify these SSL configuration vulnerabilities with ease. Navigate to the certificate repository and click the vulnerability icon next to the vulnerability's name to perform a scan. In the window that opens, click scan. You'll be instantly provided with the scan details. Key Manager Plus checks for OCSP and CRL revocation statuses, the Heartbleed vulnerability, and the Poodle vulnerability, flagging any insecure TLS ciphers in use. Once the flaws are identified, it's easy to remediate any SSL vulnerabilities. With Key Manager Plus, you can configure certificate-related operations to occur automatically on a scheduled basis. You can create schedules for certificate-related operations, such as SSL discovery, AD user certificate discovery, SSL expiration notices, and SSL vulnerability scans. Navigate to the Schedules tab on the Actions pane and click Add Schedule to create a schedule. Provide a name, choose a schedule type, select the required certificates, and specify how often it will occur. After filling out these details, click Save. The schedule has now been created and the operation will be carried out as per the specified time interval. Key Manager Plus generates instant, comprehensive, dedicated reports for various SSL-related operations. Click on a report to obtain detailed organized data about that particular operation. You can also export these reports in PDF and CSV formats or email them to the appropriate authorities. Key Manager Plus also comes with a neat, organized dashboard that provides an at-a-glance view of your key parameters. You can drill down from here to obtain further information. We hope this overview of SSL Certificate Lifecycle Management using Key Manager Plus has given you the information you need. 
If you're new to Key Manager Plus, go ahead and give the trial version a shot and contact us if you need any assistance. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.